Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday and happy Christmas. Before we start our Sunday school, let us pray, shall we? Eyes closed, hands together. Jesus, we thank you for gathering us together for Sunday school. Come and be our teacher today. Help us to listen. Give us understanding. Help us to pray. At the end of the lesson, bless all of us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome to Primary Pals class. Our lesson for today is Lesson 4C, titled A Heavenly Announcement. Our text is Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 20. I will read selected verses. But before I read, I will take the memory verse first. Fear not, for behold, I bring you a great tidings of joy, which shall be to all people. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. Now, open your Bible with me to Luke chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you Good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Verse 15. And it came to pass... As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe, Lying in a manger. Let's close our Bible and put it by our side. We are talking about a heavenly announcement. There are many ways to hear or to tell people about what happens. That is what we mean by announcement. We can get news from the newspaper or by letter. It could be by phone or it could be by card telling people about a new baby boy. But in our lesson of today, God chose a dramatic way to announce the birth of Jesus to mankind. Do we all remember the song, Christmas song about shepherds? while shepherds watch their flock by night. If you remember, can we sing it together? While shepherds watch their flocks by night, 
all seated on the ground. The angel of the Lord came down and glory shone around. Let us see how God announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds of Bethlehem. We can see the shepherd and their sheep. Though these ones are not sitting, as the song said, they seated, but they were by the fireside because it was night. Everything calm and silent. The star full, the heaven full of stars. But suddenly, while they are watching their flock, there was a bright light. They are wondering, looking in fear. What is this bright light about? As they are thinking, fearful, looking, the angel of the Lord came down. The angel of the Lord came down with that glory. And what did the angel say? The angel said, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. That will be our statement as well. Great joy. Our statement for the lesson is great joy. And while the angel was telling them not to fear, then heavenly host, multitude of angels came from heaven, Angels came from heaven and they are praising God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. While the angels, after the angels went back, to heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us go straight to the city of Bethlehem to see what had happened that the Lord has shown to us. Immediately, in haste, as the Bible said, we can see a shepherd with his rod Another one with the rod, and we can see one carrying a sheep on his shoulder going to Bethlehem to go and look for baby Jesus. They were so happy and excited about the news that Jesus has been born. Quickly, they went to Bethlehem. And when they got there, as the angel had told them, they find the babe wrapped in a swaddling cloth, lying in a manger, and they saw Mary and Joseph. They were so happy and excited, they worshipped him. After worshipping him, they went back spreading the news abroad. Children, God have told us, the great news that Jesus has been born. Let us do like the shepherd in haste to go and see baby Jesus. How can we do that? We do that by going on our knees, pray to Jesus. Jesus, I want to see you. Come into my heart. Wash my sins away. I want to see you, Jesus. That is why he came to save us from our lives of sin. He will answer our prayer, come into our hearts, and when we serve him, 
worship him like the angel all the days of our life. One glorious day, we will see him to face to face and we will be happy. It will be a glorious day. Children, you want to see Jesus. All of us want to see Jesus. That will be the end of our lesson for today. But the activities for our lesson, ages 2 to 5, find the six hidden angels in the picture. 6 to 8, use the code to solve the puzzle to see and know what the shepherd did when they see Jesus. That's our lesson. Thank you for listening. Our lesson for next week will be lesson 4B, titled A Special Birth. God bless you. Bye. See you next week. Welcome to Answer Class. I am super excited to be with you today. Today's story is an amazing one. It's a story that brings peace into existence. So, grab your pen, notepad, and your treasury. Yeah, you heard me. Your treasury. That's your Bible. And let's stick around. <laughs> The title for today's lesson is an example of obedience. We are going to learn about obeying God just like Mary and Joseph did. Our key verse is, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Let's repeat that. Blessed are they. That hear the word of God and keep it. St. Luke chapter 11 verse 28. Before we proceed, let's have a look at the pictures on the screen. What can you see? A red hot stove. Right. Assuming you were instructed by your parents not to touch this red hot stove. And you disobeyed and touched the stove. What do you think will happen to you? <laughs> Your hand will get burned and leave you with a scar. Yeah, a scar. Likewise, when we commit sin against God and fail to follow God's instructions, there will be consequences because you can't do wrong and get by. If you repent, your sins will be forgiven, but leave a scars. So, why not trust God and obey Him? May God help us. You remember today's story when Sophia, Diego, and Isabella were discussing their roles in Christmas program. Isabella and Sophia were to be angels, while Diego was chosen to be Joseph. However, Diego wasn't quite sure of when the angel came to reveal himself to Joseph. They went to make an inquiry from their dad, thank God for Christian parents, who explained to them, how the angel appeared to Joseph immediately after appearing to Mary. This particular story can be found in our today's Bible test 
in Saint Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 25. We're only reading verses 18 to 20 and 24. I read 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When her this mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost, 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily, 20. But while he thought on this thing, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. 24. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. Let's put our Bible aside. In our Bible text, we read about Mary and Joseph were engaged to be married. Can you imagine the thoughts that came to Joseph's mind when he discovered that Mary was pregnant and they weren't married yet? He probably asked himself, what do I do? Now, Joseph was a good man and fear-minded man. He didn't want to disgrace Mary publicly. He decided to break up the engagement quietly. While he was considering this, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. As we can see, Joseph heard and obeyed God. He did what was told by the angel and took Mary as his wife. Because of his obedience, God's plans were revealed and fulfilled. Joseph experienced peace in his heart and had a wonderful privilege of rearing God's own son, which is Jesus. Our key verse in Luke chapter 11 verse 28 says, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Boys, girls, you can be blessed too if you do your part by following God's instruction and obey his commandments. Whatever God has promised us, he shall bring it to pass. How do you obey God? You obey God when you read your Bible, pray every day, and tell Jesus to wash away your sins. Go to church services, come rain and come shine. You obey God by obeying your parents the first time they ask you to do something. Follow your teacher's instruction both in school and in the church and also those that are in higher authorities. I'm sure that will make God happy. And you will be blessed. Remember, children, our take-home key statement is, I will obey God. For our activities, which has just been displayed, are you happy to obey God's direction? If yes, use the secret code and fill in the blank spaces you'll find a promise for those who obey God. That is the end of our lesson. Pray. 
Father Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. We appreciate you for priming Paul and answers lessons for the Lord has set our thanks. We thank you for the plan of salvation. We thank you for the joy that you brought into the hearts for the Lord has set our praises. Father, we commit ourselves into you, Lord. We surrender ourselves for the Lord. Take perfect control. Give us the heart of obedience. Wash away all our sins and write our name in the book of life. Bless each every one of us, O Lord. Do this for us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sure you enjoyed this lesson. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.